Hello everyone, Bentley K here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today's video is a beauty break with Bentley video and we are going to be doing a get ready with me. So this is probably going to be kind of a short video just because I just put these lashes on and now they're already bugging me. Um, just because I want to do kind of a natural, minimal look. So, so it shouldn't take very long, right? Okay. So what we're going to be using, we're not going to be using anything new because I've been buying way too much stuff. So we're going to, we're going to use some of the stuff we've got. Um, I want to use this tinted moisturizer. I'm not going to use primer. I'm not going to do the TikTok method. I'm just going to use this, but I think I remember this is pretty light, so I might add just a little tiny drop of this one to make it a little bit darker. I want to start tanning, but I haven't yet. And it's time. So anyways, we're going to get started. And we're just going to start off with some of this. And I'm going to put just a tiny bit on my face just to make sure I remember what color it is. Yeah, it's pretty light. So, I'm going to put a little bit more out. And then, I'm just going to put a tiny bit of this Born This Way foundation. Because I got a much darker color in that one. So, this is not really minimalist when you have to mix it, huh? I don't know if I can get a tiny dot. Oh, yeah. See how much I put... Just a little bit. And then I'm just going to mix that up with my finger because I'm going to put it on with my finger anyways. So see, that made it a nice golden color. Just gave it a little more color and hopefully it didn't change the consistency because I really wanted just a tinted moisturizer because that's what we're going for. I got too much though. That's what happens when you don't get to use it very often. You forget. There, there's one. And we're just going to spread this out real quick. Are you guys all ready to start tanning and look all summery? I'm hoping that if I look tan, I'll be like skinny too. <laughs> it works, huh? I mean, it might. Who knows? But that's what I'm going for. I am losing weight, though. Just not as, you know, much as I'd like. But then, of course, nobody loses as much as they'd like, right? That looks good. So I'm going to wipe the rest of this off my hand. Well, first let's go over it with a sponge, just in case we need more. But it doesn't look like it. Looks pretty good. I got something in my eyelash. There. That was probably what was bugging me. I remember that I really, really liked this um, tinted moisturizer. Oh, I forgot to tell you what it was. This is the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydration. And I, my color is, I don't know. It looks like it is light medium. Okay, so now I'm gonna I am gonna use my regular old favorite um, concealer for now, and that is of course my Laura Pat McGrath. <laughs> I started to say Laura Mercier, and I'm like, wait a minute, that's not right. And I really want to cover these lids because we're going to do minimal. So. That's what we need. Oh, I need a little bit more out here, don't I? I think so. I think that should do it. We want to brighten up down here. Bring it up the side of my nose. Get rid of the purple on my eyelids. Purple is a pretty color, but 
I prefer not to see that on my eyelids. It makes me look sick, I think. And I don't mean sick in a good way. Now we're gonna go in with powder. I am gonna use my It Cosmetics powder because it's good. It's still minimalist. And I need to brighten under here. Because I'm not gonna use any highlight. I know this is not me, but I'm taking it for the team. Because there's a lot of people that I think do like to look like they're not wearing makeup. So, that's what we're going to go for. We're just going to try and sculpt it out naturally. Get the rest of this set in place. All right, that's enough of that. Let's look at this. Looks good. So far, so good. That powder is so good. I don't think I put it down here though. Oh well, it's a natural thing, right? Okay, so now I'm going to go in and I'm going to add some color back and contour a little bit with my Bobbi Brown bronzer in natural and my big old elf brush. I'm just going to kind of add some cheeks and, and contour at the same time with the same product. Pull it all the way up here. Give us a little sun-kissed forehead. Maybe across the nose a little bit, but I'm going to contour that nose. But I'm not gonna contour it much because we're going for natural, right? I'm just going to skinny it up a little. We're going for my face, but better. All right, see, I didn't even add any to this. Just use what was in the brush. Okay, now, I'm just going to take this and to blend everything that I just did. I didn't pull it down my neck at all and I need to a little bit. Okay, that's enough of that. Now we're going to go in, we're going to do the eyes. And for the eyes, I feel like I can see fuzzies on me. For the eyes, we're going to start off with eyebrows and I'm just going to use my Milani pencil so that we can, oh no, that's right. No, I'm not. I was going to use um, for my brows. Sorry, I got a fuzzy in my eyelash. I can feel it. There, I got it. For my brows, I'm going to use, what I'm going to use is this e.l.f. palette. It is the New Classics. And I'm going to use this for my shadow, for my brows. And so we're going to start off with the brows. And I'm going to use... I don't have a clean brow brush. I have to have a clean brow brush. Come on. Well, we'll just use this one. And we're going to go into the color Earth right here in this palette. And that's what I'm going to use for my brows. And I just want them to be slightly filled in because we're Going for natural. 
kind of. So I'm tapping most of that off so that it doesn't leave a huge pigment signature in my eyebrow. We just need to fill in all the holes. I think that's good enough. Okay. And now I am going to put on a little bit of brow gel because that was powder and we need to, something to keep it from falling off. But you don't want to use much because it'll get rid of your color. So that's enough. This is the Milani and that is part, the color was from the eyeshadow palette. So now we're going to go in to the, this color right here and I'm going to put that on my lid. all the way across actually everywhere I want to set that concealer make sure there's no lines wrinkles in the concealer so that's that. That's all I wanted to do there. Now I'm going to go in with another brush. Um, I think I'm going to use this guy. And I'm going to go into this color. What's it called? Uptown right here. It's a really pale top color. And that's what I'm going to use for my crease. Just to give it a little bit of a shadow deepen it up a little and then I'm also going to pull it up some to deepen this bone I don't know if it's called deepening it receding it I might have to go back in with that light color again And then I'm also going to put this on the outer corner of my lid. A little bit, like halfway. And that's it. That's how I got my natural look, I think. Now I'm going to go back in with this white color that I used in the first one, which was called cream or creme, C-R-E-M-E, creme. And I'm just putting it on my finger so that I can get it a little darker. Like that. And then I'm going to go back in with a brush. To blend the two. That's more what I was looking for. More natural. Okay. And then, oh, and then I'm going to go in with the black right here. And I'm going to use that for liner. And I'm going to stay really close to the lash line.
and I'm thinking we're done. I'm gonna put some lipstick on and I'm gonna put some, I think some, do I have a, this ride or die stuff. I'll try that one. But it's thick. I remember that. It's hard to get it out. Yep, I think that one's a little more natural. That's it. This is our my face but better <laughs> look. I know I need some mascara, but I put these lashes on, so I don't like to put mascara on top of them. What do you think? I think it looks pretty natural, except for the what? I think it needs blush, huh? Let's see if we have a blush. Maybe I'll just use my brush that's already got blush in it. That's better, huh? Does that still look natural? I think so. I think that I didn't use dark enough up there, but it looks natural. So I don't know, maybe not. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching my videos. And I will see you in my next video. Stay cool.